This clip has been created to show you how to input a new INR into INR Star once you have set up the patient's treatment plan and inputted their last two INRs from their yellow book into INR Star. This will be the view that the HCA will have when the patient first attends. Now, just to clarify, this will not be a brand new patient starting on morphine. This will be a patient being brought across from the hospital service into the primary care led service. What they do is they use their machine to pinprick the patient, which will give them a very quick INR result, which they can then input into INR star. And just to confirm, this is a test patient who has a diagnosis of atrial fibrillation on warfarin with a target INR of 2.5, ranging between 2 and 3, an indefinite end date for treatment. And this TTR is a time in INR range and currently stands at 100%, but there have only been two values inputted into the system. The patient has had their INR pinprick done and they now have an INR result which the HCA wants to input into INR star. Yes, we can confirm that this is not a brand new patient um, and is suitable for the maintenance algorithm rather than the slow oats starting arg algorithm that we do start our non-high risk patients on warfarin with. When being seen, the HCA will ask them have they changed their last prescribed dose since they were last seen? So that's on the 15th of May. Have they missed any warfarin doses in the last seven days? And have they changed any medications in the last seven days? If they have, then they could put here, started on amoxicillin. Then this would appear in the comments box over here and then the overseeing clinician would be able to find out exactly what drugs had been started and when. But I'll take that out for now because what we're going to show you is just a very straightforward in-range INR being seen by an HCA. So the HCA would ask them these three questions but have also been trained to ask the patient whether they have um, had any acute bleeding, um, bruising, or have had any change in their diet at all since last seen. So we would want to input the INR that comes up on their machine. So let's choose an in-range INR of 2.2. This is not a venous sample and we're not using this for an external quality control. We're not sending a venous sample at the same time and it isn't a home visit. So this has all been done by the HCA. Just click suggest warfarin dose and confirm the three questions are correct and that their new INR is 2.2. So what INR star is suggesting is that because the INR is still in range, we want to average out at an average of 2.3 milligrams per day. What it does is it creates a schedule, a weekly schedule for the patient, um, and on every day gives them a different dose that they need to be taking if the patient doesn't like the use of half milligrams, those are the white tablets, and you want to use schedules without any 0.5 milligram tablets, you can click on more schedules. We want to check that we're still having our delivered dose of 2.3 milligrams per day, and instead we just want to stick with one milligram, then we can click that and that will give you exactly the same average of 2.3 milligrams, but instead we'll just stick to the one milligram tablets, keeping it nice and simple for the patient. The, pa the HCA then has the option to save, refer this patient for advice from the overseeing clinician. They won't have any option to override, that's just because I am an overseeing clinician that I have the option to override this dose. In this case, the HCA would just save if the patient had had any problems and was out of range, then the HCA would not have the option to click this button. They would only have the option to click refer for the overseeing clinician to authorize the dosing or override as needed. So if I click save there, now because this is a test patient, the system has been unable to connect 
to system one. So I'm going to click cancel there. And you can see that the, all the information inputted by the HCA is now on INR star and a summary can be printed for the patient in the form of a label which gets stuck in their yellow book.